Welcome in to Chase Field in downtown Phoenix. MLB the show with a good one coming at you. It's the Chicago Cubs and the Arizona Diamondbacks. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to roll. And on the mound here today, Zach Gallon. What do we have on him? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix. So for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches depending on how things are going and how things are working. But if he can control four or even five of those he offerings, go, look out, hitters. Let's it's going to be a tough three. day. He's really going to yeah, be yeah. able to keep those guys yeah. off balance. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Ian Happ. That one not no close. Fight. And that's how this game gets started. The wind of the pitch. And that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Batting check him. So now the DH spot, Seiya Suzuki. Suzuki. And that one fouled off. Well, here's a fun fact for you, Boog. Suzuki is the first Japanese-born player to homer in three consecutive plate appearances in the majors. Feel free to use that note in your next Cubs broadcast, buddy. And the righty deals. That misses, and the count is one and one. One of the things amazing with Zach, think about the players he's been traded with and for. In December 17, he and Sandy Alcantara were dealt to Miami from the Cardinals for Marcel Ozuna. Then ultimately in July of 19, he went to Arizona for Jazz Chisholm. That misses, and the count's even at two. Pat gets his lead at first, nobody out. It's a good take. And that's too high. Three, two on the way. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, we've seen this recipe cook up a big inning plenty of times. Two runners on, nobody out, and they're in the heart of their order. It's just a great opportunity to put up a crooked number. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. Jack Swing, and he held up. First and second, no outs. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And that one fouled off. The pitch. Line drive. And it's just fouled. That was close. And the right-hander deals. Oh, they tried to get him to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. First and second here, no outs. Yeah. And that is a big first out. Well, he clearly didn't recognize that curveball out of the hand and tried to check the swing, just went around too far, and you're hoping the umpire maybe missed it, and they bail you out. And here is Christopher Morell. That one ripped, but foul. And the 0-1. And that's in for a strike. Runners at first and second with one gone. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. 
He swung over top of the curveball. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. Dansby Swanson stands in. The shortstop takes the ball. Counts 1-0. First and second, two down. Comes up empty, that's strike two. Oh, no. And another ball. Well, with this many pitches <laughs> thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss. Get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a pitch. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Two on, two outs. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Now, he got up for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Cubs strand a couple, and now the Diamondbacks will get their first turn at bat. No score. Back after this on the show. Back here at Chase Field and getting to start, Javier Assad. He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw that pitch uh, today as it we used to be because the guys are looking to hit balls down in the zone, get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to get it in, especially early in the count, and to opposite guys be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. Bush takes it himself. One gone bottom half of the first. Now the Diamondbacks lineup as put together by Tori Lavello. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. One out, base is empty. And a foul ball. That two one balls. in the dirt, two, two and two. And they'll do it again. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Gomes pulls it down, and there's two gone. Batting third, the designated, designated hitter, hitter. Lourdes. Lourdes. Two outs, bases yeah. empty. Now up next for Arizona, Lourdes Goriel Jr. Goriel, in his sixth season, hitting third in the lineup, and he was born in Cuba. And yep. a good eye there. Two out spaces empty. Line 
line drive, base hit. Batting four. The first base. We all saw his hit hard, but how hard was it, Singy? Statcast is here with the answer. Yeah, Boog, it says the exit velo was 113 miles per hour, and it looked every bit of it, didn't it? I mean, just an impressive swing of the bat, and clearly, he saw it out of the pitcher's hand, no problem. And now it's Christian Walker. Nope. First pitch, just misses. Ball one, no strike. Two outs. Not two close out. with that one. Ball two. And a pitch. There's a strike. 95 of that one. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's down. One hops off the wall. Around third. He will score. And it's one nothing. Comes through with the RBI. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And in scored position with two away. Here's the veteran outfielder, Jock Peterson. First pitch misses. Walker at second with two down. Ground off the bill. That's a base hit. Around third. Fires it to the plate. It's offline. The run comes in, and they lead by two. Everything came together for him. The tight end on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Now it's Chase Peterson. And that's a strike. And a pitch. Foul ball. Down on strikes. That's the third out. Inning over. But two runs for them, and they jump ahead. On to the second inning here in the desert. It's the Diamondbacks two, and the Cubs nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started. And here's the first baseman, Michael Bush. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. In the air, out towards right center. Carroll moves towards it. Hauls it in for the out. And there's one down. Here's Nico Horner. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Now one out to right. And that's a fair ball. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. That's one of those things where, as a hitter, you kind of feel like you were due for something like that to drop in for you, no matter how good or bad you've been swinging the bat as of late. And he just fought it off and dropped it in there perfectly. Here's Mike Tockman. That's a ball. Man, at first, one away. And that one is in for a strike. James Kingsley working the plate. Kingsley's pretty well respected around the league. 
Yeah, when you talk to players, I think consistently he is one of the guys you hear compliments about. Players appreciate the job he does back there. Yeah, and that's kind of all you can ask for, really, just a fair chance to go out and have success. One and two now. Ground ball, left side, and foul ball. The Cubs down by a pair here at the top of the second. That's the third, and he can't come up with it. Man, I was expecting 5-4-3 double play off the bat, but I think he just tried to be a little too quick there, especially when you think it's a pretty routine ball to handle. It's really easy to think ahead to the transfer and the throw before you actually bring it into your glove. So first and second with one gone. Here's Jan Gomes. And that's outside. Ball one. Baseball can be cruel, cool, can't it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Back to the top of the lineup. Ian Half up to hit. He's one for one, let off the game with a single. In the air, center field. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Cubs strand a couple, and they're down 2 nothing. Back here in the desert, yeah, and now Jake McCarthy. The right Taken right high in the draft, he's had that top prospect labeled yeah, over him since he put on a professional uniform, but at some point, that starts to go oh, away, cool. and you've got to produce at the big league level. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Blaze Alexander stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Clips the outside corner, and that's strike one. And here it comes. That one fouled off. No outs. Runner on second. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to first. No swing. Gary Simmons with the call. Man at second. The shortstop takes the ball. Assad picks over. McCarthy dives back in safely. And now it's filled up. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Batting up. And now the batter is Tucker Barnhart. Barnhart. Strike. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that oh. location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit.
The 1-1. One, one. And that one pulled foul. Next oh, pitch is outside. McCarthy, the runner at second with one away. The punch out there, two gone. So back to back strikeouts now, and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah, Boogie, and you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double, as you mentioned. And yeah, just got to execute your pitches, and it's a non issue. That one pulled foul. Next offering is downstairs. Righty delivers, stays alive. Man on second, two down. In the dirt, two and two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Still two and two after the foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. We got a full count. In the dirt, but kept close. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two outs. Ground ball right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Cubs nothing. On to the third inning. Now the number two hitter, Seiya Suzuki. Seiya Suzuki. The wind of the pitch. Down the middle for a strike. Going along. Not sure if he was expecting for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. A wind in the pitch. In the air, fairly deep to right field. McCarthy pulls it down, and there's one down. Now that the center field. Bellinger up to hit. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Bellinger's won a variety of awards in his career, hasn't he? I mean, he's been named Rookie of the Year, MVP, and Comeback Player of the Year now. Throwing a few Silver Slugger awards, and he has himself quite the trophy cabinet. But why to kick the pitch? That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. The Cubbies trailing by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Not even close it's there. Fair. It's a ball and two strikes. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. A pretty good break on the curveball right there. Maybe not as down in the zone as he would have liked, but deceptive enough to get that swing and miss. And if you don't catch that pitch out front on the barrel, it bears in on you pretty hard. Morrell well, in the box for the second time. One no ball, no strikes. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. McCarthy going back on it. Pulls it in on the warning track. Three up, three down for him there. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Cubs nothing.
And we're back we go. as we go to the last of the third. This is Corbin Carroll. Assad back to work. Fastball for a strike. It's 0-1. And the pitch. Fouled off to the right. Ball Next one. offering is down low. One ball, two strikes, but down. Riding to the plate. In the air, left field, down the line. Fair ball. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. Not going to get him. He's in there. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Here's Guriel. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Ball one well, these no Diamondbacks fight. doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Next offering is in for a strike. Still relatively early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count. Runner takes off for third. Center field. Bellinger drifts towards it. Brings it in. Runner tagging for third. And he's in safely at third with one out. Now back. First base. Christian. Walker. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Christian Walker doubled his first time up. You have to find a way to score the runner from third, especially with less than two outs. Wait for the pitch you want and hit it as hard as you can. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. Yeah. And that one is oh. inside ball one. Now Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. And now one, one and two. two it is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. That cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. Now, that's that's a great location no by any means. That's typically yeah. a spot that hitters can handle. So yeah. I'd say he fooled them with just enough of that late action. And Jack Peterson stands in. Hit hard, that gets through. In to score is the runner from third. It's three zip. He was all over that one. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Jace Peterson stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Struck out swinging his first time. And that's in there for strike one. Peterson off of first with two away. And he deals on the ground, right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Two consecutive base hits for this team. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jake McCarthy. Doubled in his first A.B. In the air to left center. And a superb diving catch. A bit of a do or die there. He lays out, makes the diving catch, and he strands a couple of runners.
out of the fourth. Now it's the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Dansby Swanson. The pitch. Swanson, 30 years old now, a former first round pick back in 2015. You know, these Cubs just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Throw to first, got him. One away on the strikeout. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Now here is Michael Bush. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0-1. And he'll one. They say you win. No ball, two strikes. The D backs leading by three, top half of inning number four. The pitch. One that ball, one not close. And the count one and two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Kicks and fires. That's, That's down and in. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the second baseman, Nico Horner. Sliced hard, but foul. Two down, nobody on. And right back to the mound. Slings the first, third out. Nothing doing for the offense that time. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Diamondbacks three and the Cubs nothing. Back here at Chase Field, here's the shortstop at the play, Blaze Alexander. Tired or not, he's relentless with the way he pitches. He might be exhausted out there, but his stuff is still nasty. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Just off the inside edge. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Breaking ball inside. And now 3 0. Well, I would expect in this 3 0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. And there's a strike. Three two. Got him looking for the K. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Well, just the excellent location on that inside fastball really locked him up. Oh, oh, it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Now here is Whoa, Tucker here. Barnhart.
And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. And that skips in the dirt. You got two balls, one strike. Wouldn't ball chase that, that time. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Base is empty, one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Strike on the inside corner. Three ball, two strike. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Kicks and deals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Gets a piece and stays alive. The pitch. Bows it back with two strikes. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. And the right hander deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. So back to the top of the Arizona lineup. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. Second baseman, Cattell. Close but called a ball. And that's ball one. The Cubs bullpen with some action. Drew Smiley getting loose out there. The wind of the pitch. And nope, the slider just misses. That Ball one missed. Break. Corbin Carroll to bat next. Three one is on the way. Foul ball there. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Outside, and that is ball four. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short. It's now show some signs of fatigue, so we'll see how much longer they let him go. Here comes a new arm for the Cubs, Drew Smiley. He last pitched two days ago. Runner at first with two away. And now the center fielder, Corbin Carroll. This one in the air center field. Bellinger makes a nice grab at a full sprint. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. We played four. It's the Diamondbacks three and the Cubs nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top five, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Mike Tockman. And the right hater back to work. 
There's a strike. You know, these Cubs finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. In time. Oh. And the drop third strike leads to the first out. Well, that's such a critical pitch in terms of execution right there. The pitcher has to finish it. Otherwise, probably gets hit pretty hard. If you leave that out over the plate or you don't get it down enough, quickly turns into something that gets smoked. But if you can place it where he did, it's a really deceptive pitch. should be extra bases and that rolls into the corner the throw into second but he's in there easily the left turn on that inside eight. pitch nicely and yeah. ripped it down the line to pick up two bases that can be a tough pitch to keep fair but his timing was great now it's the switch hitting outfielder in half one for two and a foul ball. One out and a runner at second. A swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone. Hard hit right side. Marte throws the first in time. Two out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And now, Seiya Suzuki. He's over one. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The Cubs trailing by three. And we're at the top of the fifth. from third it's 3-1 and that's a two out double well here we are third time through the order and this is where we see the OPS jump up manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated So two down. So up now for Chicago, Cody Bellinger, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Nope. First pitch, and he just misses. Man, it's second. And that one hammered. Harrell ranges back. Hits the top of the wall. One run is in. He's not stopping. On his way home. There's the tag. Oh, they get him. And that's the inning. They put two on the board. Three hits. No errors. And no one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Diamondbacks three. And the Cubs two. Back here in the desert, here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Ball oh. one there. You know, these D-backs, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've already seen eight line drives from them, and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your bat. And that's what this offense has been doing so far today. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline.
swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that was the cutter down and in right there. And typically, if you're going to have a chance with the pitch, if it's down, that's your best chance of doing anything with it. It's kind of like a mini slider, just with a little less vertical movement. But still, that one tied him up, and he couldn't get the barrel to it. Christian Walker will hit next. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And a pitch. Close ball one two. doesn't get the call. And that's ball two. And that's in there at the knees. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. One down, base is empty. Helpful. Up the middle, corner. Jump throw across his body, and it beats him. What a play. First of all, that's just a nice well, job to even get to that three. ball. And then even yeah. more impressive was the throw. Off he balance. Had to try to end the air, get his shoulders turned, and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop. Here's Jack Peterson. And that's in the dirt. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. <laughs> Left hand batter waits. And it's fouled away. Nothing but curveball so far in the at-bat kind of makes it difficult as a hitter to know what to look for because you start wondering if he'll keep coming with it or if they'll try to speed you up. This one chopped up the middle. In time to push, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for Arizona, but they're up 3-2. to two. And we're back Leading down the third the, baseman, Christopher third Morell. Base, number five, Christopher Morell. And a pitch. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. That's in there. And that's strike two. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You look at many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Wow, short work to send him back in to start the inning. And no messing around either. All three pitches were in the strike zone. Attack mode all the way. And that's pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. The batter will be the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. And there's a foul ball. The Diamondbacks leading by a run, and we're at the top half of the sixth. And he hits a ground ball right side, steps on He's first out. for the out. Up next, up next uh, the first baseman, Michael. And now the first baseman, Michael Bush. Come on, Diamondback! And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. 
Grounder off the pitcher. And they get the out after the ricochet. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Diamondbacks three and the Cubs. Bottom of the sixth. Here's the third, the third baseman, back. Jace Peterson. The third baseman. Jace. As he turns on the rubber, here with that good live arm delivers. Lifted in the air down the left side, and it drops in. And the leadoff man aboard. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something oh, he could handle. Diamond. That's a ball that a lot of times you see the shortstop or left yeah, fielder yeah. be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for the base hit. Fall off foul. Rudder at first with no outs here. That one ripped. Pat ranging back on it. It's a ball. That'll fire up the dugout. His first homer of the year, and they add to their lead. It's 5-2. Like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run. The slight opposite field into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. So up next, Blaze Alexander. And that one clips the corner. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. And a pitch. Bounce to the left side. Morell. Throws across oh. the diamond. One away, bottom of the sixth. The bat. The, the catcher. Catch Tucker. Tucker. Bar. 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 Now the D-backs catcher, Tucker Barnhart. Swing and a miss. 0-1-1. Oh, 0-1's one. oh, the count. Two runs across in the inning here in the bottom of the sixth. Swings and misses, and there's two down. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flash. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days, but when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Marte in the box now. No balls and a strike. We always say it's the best pitch in baseball, strike one. You get ahead, only a good hitter as well. Gives a little bit more confidence to move through the at-bat. Out to center. Bellinger drifts towards it. And that is the third out of the inning. D-backs at a pair on the homer. It's 5-2. You're dialed into the show. Back here at Chase Field. Now it's the second baseman, Nico Horner. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have That's a, a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Action in the pen down there. Bryce Jarvis up and throwing for manager Tori Lavello. Man supply also getting ready. That one fouled off.
And here it comes. And another ball. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Not close with that one. And now it's three and two. Righty delivers. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Talkman in the box again. Takes a strike. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Oh, and two now. Tuck, tries to check his swing. Now look to third. And he held up. Corner on at first. Nobody out. Foul ball still a one and two count. Here comes a pitch. Good job to fight that one off. what he was waiting on right there he got the change up oh, and no, still no. late on it you okay, rarely okay. see that it almost no, makes no. you think no, no. he was trying to set the pitcher up I mean if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff there's no way you're going to touch a fastball now it's Jan Gomes Gallon checks on the runner Runner back in on the dive now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Jan Gomes waits. And a strike on the outside edge. a piece and it stays 0-2. The Cubbies trailing by three here in the top half of inning number seven. Oh. And that's downstairs and outside. Well that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 yeah. count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. In oh. the dirt. Yeah that's ball two. Well with the Amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt. A good secondary lead. Doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. That's inside. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. And he deals. On the ground, two ball. The flip. There's one. That's an out. To Walker. And that's two. No runs, no hits, no errors. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Diamondbacks five, and the Cubs two.
we're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Keegan Thompson. He's making his second appearance of the season. So digging in, Leading Corbin Carroll. Carroll. Diamond. One for three. The center fielder. Corbin Carroll. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Right-handed reliever. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. The 0-2. Oh. Just misses with that one. One ball, two strikes. Next pitch oh, inside, inside, and it's 2-2. Two and two. Wouldn't chase that two. time. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. At the belt and fires. To third, Morell. Zips it to oh. first, and one away in the bottom of the seventh. Up next to the diamond. The designated, the designated hitter. hitter. Lorde. Lorde. And it's Lourdes Correal Jr. in the dirt one and oh Thompson in his third season he features a four seam fastball a cutter a curve a change up and he works in a two seamer two and oh to Cal here it comes and another ball Base is empty, one away. Here, the bottom of the seven, and he walked nope. him. That's ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first no, base no, with no. a quick first free pass. Base. And here's yeah. the first baseman, Christian Walker. Walker. Come on, let's keep it going. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Big stack center field. Around second is Guriel. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. They pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make a pick. And now Jack Peterson. Just missed. Right hander kicks deals. That one catches the corner for a strike. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left handers like the ball down and in. That's in there. And it's one and two. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Guriel on third. Walker at first. One oh, gone. Close one doesn't get the call. Two it's two and two. Two on, one out. Three, two now. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Three, two. 
The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. So the bases are loaded here, one man gone. Now the third baseman, Jace Peterson. To first, maybe a two ball. Over to Swanson. He turns it. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. I promise you, they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. The right field digging in. Jake McCarthy back in the sixth. He drove a two run shot out of here to help them get the lead they're working with. Yeah, definitely one of the bigger moments in this game so far, and it could be one we look back on when this game is over as well. That one way one. inside. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Two on, two outs. On the ground to first. And it gets by him. In comes the run from third. It's seven to two. Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. New pitcher in the game for the Cubs, number 43. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Now it's the shortstop, Blaze Alexander. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. Yeah. Swing and a miss. 0 and 1. One finds the zone, and that is strike two. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count, he's feeling real confident about finishing. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. So two runs on two hits. No errors, but two are left stranded. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Diamondbacks seven and the Cubs two. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number 30. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Here's the left fielder, Ian Happ. The, the Happ daddy. Ian Happ. The pitch and that's in for a strike the Diamondbacks with some movement in the pen Miguel Castro up and throwing for manager Tori Lovello the pitch and one, one. that skips in the dirt Late on that fastball. One ball, two strikes. Righty to the plate. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Nabs it, one up, one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Seiya Suzuki, the next to hit. Right through there for a strike. Good, 
One down, base is empty. There's a strike. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. And the righty deals. That's a ball. One ball, two strikes to count. Base is empty, one away. And we're in the top of the eighth. And that one is in the dirt. Two and two. And that's in the dirt. Kicks and deals. On the ground to third. On to first. And that's an out. The center fielder, number 24, Cody. Bellinger. Here's Cody Bellinger. Oh. This is just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. And another ball. Yeah, the right hander deals. Whoa, that's up there. In for a strike, and the count is three and one. Now a screamer into the outfield, and Bellinger is out. And that'll do it. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. They're down five. It's seven to two. And welcome back Leading to the ball ballpark. The Ready ball. for the bottom of the eighth the at the play. Tucker, Tucker Barnhart. Barnhart. The pitch. That hey. one finds the zone. Strike one. <laughs> and ball one. <laughs> Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him through. Could tell Marte up to the plate. Tap in the zone and it's called a strike. Wind in the pitch. And a foul ball. The wind to kick the pitch. Three. And that's a strikeout looking. Fastball at the letters, frozen for strike three. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got up, three up straight fastballs looking up, in the 0 2 count Four. just to pull it back. Carol, nope. the next outside. to hit takes outside. Swing and a miss, chased it out of the zone. Two down, one down nobody on. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. In the air, right side, on the move. Makes the catch in a goal. So they make short work of them there. Through eight full, it's the Diamondbacks seven and the Cubs two. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Miguel Castro. 
And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your Here mental you go, toughness up, matters uh, in situations like this as well. Now it's going to be Christopher Morell. Morell. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Hey. Strike one. All ones the count. Swing and a miss, and he has got out strikes for the third straight at bat. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. Swanson at the plate now. That's ball one. Activity in the Arizona bullpen. Ryan Thompson up and throwing for manager Tori Lavello. The D-backs leading by five here at the top of the night. The shortstop two. takes the ball. Two and oh. On the ground, and foul. that's just foul. The pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. One down, base is empty. Right through there. Got it. And they're down to their last down. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout. And this one looking, obviously. So he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Bush in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And it's 2-0. Oh. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Two outs. There's a strike. 95 of that one. This one popped up. Has a beat on it. That's the ball game. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. 7 2 your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shum. Thanks for joining us.